everyone to your Steamboat Today morning show. We're here with Ron Call for what might be one of the last times that we talk to you of the season, yeah, Ron. Yeah. yeah. Next week last. Next week's our last one. Yeah. We'll get wow. to that. Let's not get sad about that just yet. Not so yet. Off the Beaten Path Bookstore is located downtown and in the Sheridan on the mountain. That's and right. uh, it, how, how's the season been for you? It's been pretty good. Good. Um, you know, people are still reading books. Uh, That's always good. And, and, and maybe it's actually interesting. I wasn't going to talk about this, but people are still reading physical books. Yeah. Um, we've been very concerned about what's going to happen to the future of this this object right. uh, as we talked about ebooks eroding that market and clearly nationally ebooks are becoming very popular right uh, but still people have the uh, the tradition of cracking open that book and sitting down and reading it you know i think uh, i think there's going to be for some time a reading community that likes to hold the pages in their hand yeah. and finds that that's the that's the more satisfying way to read. Okay. Uh, you like it all, though. You like the ebooks and you like the the actual. Yeah. I, well, I I you know I do both. Uh, I'm a pretty techy guy, so I carry around a lot of devices, and I do a certain amount of traveling. And there's no question that the convenience of carrying an iPad or uh, a Nook Color that's been converted to an Android so that you can read. Yeah. Uh, when you're traveling, there's no, there's no argument with the convenience of that. Okay, uh, so I mean, yeah. a place in this world for all. That's yeah. that's what the message. I mean, is. what's it, what's interesting in that in that whole market, and and folks might be interested in. I posted on Facebook about it yesterday. Is is the uh, the whole market for eBooks is in flux. So um, uh, uh, Amazon has about 65 percent of the market today in eBooks. Uh, Barnes and Nobles has about 20%, and the rest is scattered. You know, we sell ebooks. We have a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of, of that market. Uh, what's made it possible for there to be a market at all has been price parity. That is, for most ebooks, the price that Barnes and Noble and Amazon and we sell that ebook is the same. And and the reason that that's been possible has been that five of the major publishers of ebooks have adopted what's called in the in the business world an agency model uh, where instead of acting as a retailer we're actually acting as an agent of the publisher the publisher sets the price and whoever sells it as an agent has to set has to sell at that price okay you can't discount it and and of course um, Amazon before that agency model discounted all their ebooks heavily uh, so there was just no way anybody could compete with them because of the volume. Right. Uh, so if you know if, if if a publisher set a price of nine ninety nine for an ebook, and Amazon sold it for six ninety nine, well we couldn't even buy that ebook for that. So, you know there was no competition. Right. Um, so there's been competition for the last eighteen months, and we've been able to sell some ebooks. The problem is that the Justice Department has been investigating the uh, major publishers, not for the model itself, but for how the publishers came to adopt, adopt the model. And the word on the street is that um, this agency model may be uh, eliminated by an agreement with the Justice Department um, because the Justice Department thinks that the publishers colluded Oh, wow. In an anti-competitive way to Who arrive knew? at this. All these politics were going on with the, in the ebook world. Yeah, so this is so the, the you know the concern of all of us in the independent bookstore world is that this model is going to go away. Ebooks will again become a wholesale retail market. Amazon will deeply discount them, and they'll become a mon monopoly. Right. In e ebooks and ebooks will go away. So for us, selling this physical book still becomes. Our primary right. business, absolutely, uh, and and uh, it becomes the kind of thing that we care about, and we hope that publishers will continue to create for us, and in, in ways that'll make it worth uh, buying. Yeah. But with the trends of eBooks, um, you know, something we're very concerned about. But that's why uh, off the beaten path bookstore here. I mean, you guys do a lot of things. You have authors coming in for readings and signings. You have breakfast with the authors. You have all kinds of interesting things to get people out and remind people about the importance of the physical book. Yeah, and and we try to do that. And 
we enjoy doing that. This I actually brought this today. This is Craig Child's Finders Keepers. Um, he's coming to the library Thursday evening okay. at 6.30. Great. Very interesting author. He's an archaeologist and kind of outdoorsman, has written quite a number of books. This book, Finders Keepers, is really about um, uh, the, the roots of archaeology. He, he asks the questions in this book, like, if you, if you come along uh, uh, an arrowhead when you're on a hike, um, Whose arrowhead is it? Who, you know, what's what's the right thing to do with that arrowhead? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and he, in this book, he kind of uses that example to explore the whole um, business that has evolved over many centuries of collecting artifacts, things that represent ancient history. Wow. And he talks about, uh, uh, you know, if you go to a museum, for example, and you see a collection. Where did that collection come from? Who actually profited by it, by the collection? Right, the story and, behind. Yeah, yeah. And, and he even asked the question, you know, uh, if you see something there and you know that it came from ancient Italy, are you a thief if you pick it up and send it back to Italy? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, so he's interesting. a very interesting guy, and yeah. I've heard him speak, and he's... You know, I really recommend people come hear him because okay. uh, he's a fascinating speaker. He okay. has a lot of things to say about the, our, you know, history and culture of people and who owns what. Yeah, and a lot of people interested in that topic as well. When is that happening? Thursday night, 6.30 at the library. Okay, perfect. That sounds like a very interesting thing to do, yeah. to partake in. Uh, people can catch up on all of the events going on at Off the Beaten Path Bookstore on your lovely website, which is steamboatbooks.com. Thank you. Yes, and all kinds of good stuff on there as well. And also just stop by on 9th Street and also inside the Sheridan. Thank you. Ron, nice to see you this morning. Nice to see we'll you. We'll have our farewell next, next week. Next week. Okay? All right. Take yep. care. Ron Crawl from Off the Beaten Path Bookstore. We'll be right back with more Steamboat Today.